Mm, hello YouTube. Um, I've been playing about the burner again. I've discovered a few issues with it. One, really didn't want holes up here. So I've quickly just wrapped a bit of uh, Lucashead can around that. I've decreased the amount of holes. There's only four 12mm holes now. But I've pre-drilled, um, ready to put four more in if necessary. And then I've got a 10mm tube welded in through the bottom. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you it. But it comes up... Uh, roughly sort of where that symbol is there at the bottom of those arrows. Um, the old one was just a straightforward, like little chamber. It didn't, it didn't burn clean enough. Well, this is now burning very, very clean. Um, there's pretty much like there's a bit of haze, a little bit of smoke. But no, near as much as what there was. Um, I haven't put a drip feed in at a minute. I'm just literally uh, sort of feeding it with a syringe. Um, and it seems to be working pretty well. not quite quite got the air intake correct it might be because there's still air coming in through here but you can hear sort of it start to fire and then it kind of chokes itself out So I think that's sort of, it's not creating a vacuum up here correctly, so I might need to make a new sort of um, exhaust for it. But it's very, very small. Um, got a new sort of top piece that I've quickly just whoop, taken the seal seam off of. And that, and um, I've made my drip feed system, which is tucked away down here at the minute. Um, it's just a little tank, and it's got a little slung together sight glass and a little valve. So, once I get the chamber burning right, then I will try for running it as a drip fed and see just how hot it gets, I mean, I'm getting pretty, I mean it's not even burning correctly and this is in um, C by the way, so you can see, sort of, about 250ish it's probably not helping that I'm losing a lot of heat out here. So I will have to uh, remake the exhaust for this, but it's, it's working. Don't want to make the burner too big. Um, it would be a lot easier if I made a full-size one. But I mean, as you can see, it's it's quite small. Um, I want it small because it's mainly just says when I come out here, I can quickly light it. Um, it'll warm the workshop up, and by the time like the machinery is all on, uh, I've got my free phase inverter down there, that throws out some heat. You've got the shaper, you've got my mill, you've got my two lathes, a uh, bandsaw, and like my welding equipment over there. Um, tool and cut grinder, but that's not really used that much. Um, by the time it all comes on, it doesn't exactly, it doesn't, it's not freezing in here, but it will create enough background heat just to keep me warm and comfy. I don't want to be absolutely sweltering which is why I chose to make it very small and eventually I'm going to place uh, like a a flu radiator like a heat exchange on it and maybe run a tiny little fan or put it in the way of one of the motors as it's blowing like it's uh, hot air away and that depending on what I'm working on but yeah just a silly little thing and I thought I'd share it because it's the smallest one I've actually seen on YouTube by quite a significant amount 
I am going to there it is again. I am going to make a small forced air one as well probably. Um just out of curiosity. Uh where did I put it? I think it's here. Um yeah. I picked this little tiny uh ever ready blower so I can inflate in toys. So I'm gonna try and make a forced air one as well. But yeah, so it's working pretty nice. It still goes on its own, don't have to do nothing to it, so yeah. Anyway, uh, sorry about all the chatting, I think I lost point there, but hey ho. Uh, until next time.